Am I in? Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm in. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are. What's going on? Nothing much. Just, I'm tired, actually. Just oh. been working. Working, even though we at home, been working. Right. Getting it in, though. That's good. Got to. Well, welcome to the new platform, Hip Hop United. We are on the check-in. Thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. Introduce yourself to the fans. What's up, everybody that's checking in right now, that's tuning in? My name is Remarkable. I am an uh, artist here in ATL, Atlanta Rays, Atlanta born. Definitely, definitely. Again, we do appreciate you for checking in. But what you've been doing, though, you've been working, quarantining. How's the, you know, how's it like just being at home and, you know, just in this whole pandemic? You know, what you've been up to? Yeah, yeah well, it made me refocus. Um, a little bit more and fine tune my craft because when you're out and about and having to do bookings and appearances and I film as well so mm -hmm. you kind of get a little away from the actual recording process or the creativity that mm -hmm. was once there before you know getting more further in your career so since right. I'm at home I literally have just been refining like just retuning everything that I do musically mm -hmm. um now I'm working more on understanding production. Mm -hmm. uh, I, sit, I sit hand in hand now with my boyfriend, who is my producer as well. But instead of just going through beats, now we're making beats together. And I'm okay. understanding the sounds and what, what makes sense for my voice and just really finding my true sound. So that's been a big thing. And then my writing. I've just been way better on my writing. It's, it doesn't take me as long anymore. Um, just been focusing on just being a better artist, not... Mm -hmm. Not so much the personality, not so much the appearance, but the art itself. And I think that's really important because we kind of stray away from that a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's been the biggest thing for me during quarantine for these past couple months. I've just been fine-tuning everything that I know and going back to my roots and mm -hmm. just being that hungry artist that I started off as. Okay. All right. So did you have anything planned, um, you know, throughout the rest of the year? Like a lot of people had to, you know bail out of shows and stuff like that did you have anything lined up yeah i had a lot of bookings i had shows i'm filming still i'm growing up hip-hop mm -hmm. um but everything had to be pulled to a halt unfortunately okay. so that um that kind of hit home hard because it's like that's the way that our, us artists make our money i mean of course right. we can stream music all day but when we talk about streaming, that's not where the money truly, truly is. Mm -hmm. The money is when you're doing your shows and your bookings and things like that. So it's like that as an artist, that really took a big hit um, mm -hmm. in our pockets because we're not able to do what we need to do. Any product placements or any brand collaborations, like you really can't do the norm. Right. So you got to be creative. And at this point, right. that's what I've been doing. I've just been trying to figure out well, what's the way that I could draw attention, bring attention, bring awareness, um, and just still be myself during this whole pandemic that's going on. So, yeah, I definitely had things lined up, but the plan don't stop. We just got to retweet. Right. We got to retweak it. So that's just what I've been doing is I, I definitely wanted to drop an EP by this month um, mm -hmm. because of the fact that it's hard to film and um, do visuals and market properly and get investors involved because there's no mm -hmm. meetings and things like that. It's like right. it's a little it's a little difficult, but that can't that can't hold us. Like then stop it. Right. People have been through worse, mm -hmm. so we just mm -hmm. got to figure out how we just get through it. Well, speaking of your EP, uh, you just dropped the single uh, "Big Racks." You mm -hmm. know, topping the charts. You know, let's get into that. You know, what was the what was the thought process behind that? Honestly, I had a birthday party, and since we're in quarantine, I couldn't have a birthday party. That was big, like I normally do. Normally, I do a whole week of festivities. Mm -hmm. So I literally got my closest fans, fans, my friends and family, and we spent the night together. So right before my party started, before I had to start decorating and getting everything placed where it's supposed to be at, mm -hmm. it was probably like 5 o'clock in the morning. I told my boyfriend, his name is Eight. A major. He works with 30 Rock. He's part of 1209, that production crew. Mm -hmm. He, I told him, I said, hey, I want to make a song specifically for my party. He was like, when? Your party's tonight. And I was like, now. He's like, it's 5 o'clock. Like, what What beat do you want to do then? Because he's never telling me no. He's always mm -hmm. like, when I'm being creative, he's like, all right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't have a beat in mind, but let's just make one. So literally me and him sat down together and we made the beat together. Like I told him what I wanted, what sounds I needed. 
And within an hour, the beat was made. Then another hour, the song was written. And I left the open verse on there because one of my close friends, her name is Yummy Pearl. She used to be signed to QC. Mm -hmm. Very talented artist. She's a rapper, female rapper as well. And I was like, you know what? I want her to hear this song before I finish it. Because if I finish it, then it's going to be done. I'm like, all right, it's set. I said, let me leave an open verse on there. I'm going to play it at the party. And I'm going to see how she feels. And I'm going to see how the girls feel. Because I really want to make some music for the ladies. Because I kind of don't make music specifically for ladies. I kind of make it general. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, let me make some music for the ladies. Let me see how they feel about it when I play it at the party. And Yummy loved it. And she was like, yeah, I'm getting on it. So immediately the day after, she went to the studio, laid a verse down, sent it right over. And that's just how I came about it. It was just all about just wanting to give something to my women fans and women listeners and supporters. Because right now it's like we, we need each other to come together. It's so right. crazy. I just looked at what Billboard just posted. Nikki and Doja Cat are number one. Megan and Beyonce are number two on the billboards. Like, that's crazy. Like, it's so important that the women team up. Like, right. It, so, yeah, Big Racks really came about as just, I just wanted to work with Yummy because I know that she's very mm -hmm. talented. I've never had a female rapper feature, and neither has mm -hmm. she. But we've been friends for a while. So it's like, why does it never happen? I'm going to make mm -hmm. it happen. We're going to mm -hmm. make it happen. Right, and right. That's just what it was. And everybody's loving it. Like, it's so crazy when you make a song and you spend 10 hours on a song and you be thinking like, this is the one. Mm -hmm. But then when you spend an hour on another one, it's like, it's cool, but then everybody right. loves it. So it's all about just being fun and having fun and, and doing something that you love. And that's how that song came out. It was just out of love and just wanted okay. to basically support everybody else. Got you, got you. Any other female artists that you want to uh, collab with? Man, what? Everybody. I really want to work with everybody. I want to have as many female features, just like the guys do. Like, right. think about Lil Wayne has worked with probably every, almost every male artist from a certain time frame. Mm -hmm. um, Drake has worked with almost every artist. Future, like people, the men work with each other like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot. So as far as any other female artists, like definitely, it, it don't have to just be Atlanta. It could be anywhere. I'm looking actually to do a remix since Big Rax is doing so well. And it just came out Friday. Right. So it's only been out for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Literally just got put on Apple yesterday. Um, and it's, really, it's doing really well. Mm -hmm. So I do want to add additional female rapper on there. Okay. And, Who are you thinking um, about? I don't know. There's so many that's right. just so dope. There's so many. But one that I really, just because me and Yummy are both from Georgia, um, I kind of was like, do I want to put another Georgia artist on there? I kind of feel like that would just be like that down south move. Um, I really like Tokyo Jets. So she's super Ooh. dope. And I think that like her voice would would sound really good on it. It's just all about who want to make the, the real chemistry. Like, I'm going to send it over to a couple female artists. And I'm about chemistry. Like, I don't want right. to be like, hey, I need you to do this song. And then it doesn't mesh. And we don't mm -hmm. like support each other the same way. Like, I just want another female that's hungry, that's out here getting it, that's grinding, that love to make music, and I want to want to have fun in this industry and just be themselves. So whoever that one is, that's okay. what I want. That's mm -hmm. who it is. Mm -hmm. There you have it. There you have it. What's right. going on with the show, though, Growing Up Hip Hop? You know, how's I that know. process been? Yeah, we're not filming right now. Like, we literally were filming all up until a day before they put us on lockdown. Mm -hmm. We knew that things were going on, but we had to play it safe, and they were like, hey, lockdown about to start. We can't film. So we literally... We haven't filmed. We do little things at home, like um, just stuff for like Instagram and, mm -hmm. and the network. But as far as the camera being around, nope. They're trying to do the best um, by staying in communication with us and just updating right. us on what's the, situ the situation. But they really want to make sure that we're safe. Right. Um, so that's their biggest priority is making sure the staff, the talent, the crew, everybody's safe. So we understand this put at a halt. We don't know when we will start. We just... Whenever it's time to start, we just get back up and rolling. But I, th I definitely think that um, we got to talk about this. This is something that the world needs to hear from everybody's perspectives. Um, so when the show does start, I I'm for sure that everything that we've been going through will be talked mm -hmm. about as far as being at home. But I can say a lot of my castmates have been working. Johnny Blaze been working her ass off. Oh, yeah. Diamond oh, yeah. been working. Like, we all, the men too, but I feel like mm -hmm. the women right now, we are we are not stopping. I don't know okay. what what happened, but we're not stopping at all. So those women, like the women that's on growing up hip hop ATL with me, they everybody has just been kicking butt still. Um, even though we're in the house, we've just been figuring out a way. Like Johnny Blaze, 
It's gotten a lot of recognition when it comes down to like Tory Lanez and Diamond right. just dropped the video. Like Johnny Blaze dropped the video. Like everybody's just, I don't know, I'm proud of them. Working. I'm proud of them. I'm so Working. proud. Yeah. What um what had what else have you been up to? Like when you're not, you know, just focusing on your music. Like what do you like to do in the house? Have you gained any new like uh talents? You know, a lot of people have learned how to be better cooks. Mm -hmm. Uh I've been catching up on some T V shows. What you've been catching up on? Okay, so I always cook. Like I love to eat. So my cooking is I don't wanna say I'm A one because you could always be better, but I'm <laughs> I throw that out. So okay. that's um I mean, that's something. I mean, I'm definitely cooking more just because I'm not out and about. But me and my son um, and my boyfriend, we've really just been spending more time together outside of working, um, doing the music. Uh, we've really been helping my son because I'm a teacher now because he's doing at-home school. Right. So I'm a teacher. Um, and then also, he has a business now himself. We've been doing the holistic health since he's been a baby. Like, I, mm. I, I really wasn't big on vaccinations. I'm not big on medication. Um, I'm a self healer. So anything, anytime that we have a cold or get sick or something's wrong, a lot of things are at home remedies. So we've been on CMOS and I see a lot of people that are now taking CMOS or understanding what CMOS is. We've been on CMOS for the past like three years. Mm -hmm. And because of it, of it being an immune system booster, my son decided to be like, mommy, let's sell it. Let's give it to people because people don't know how to make it or they don't know the use of it. So mm -hmm. he's been selling CMOS and he has, made a great profit like oh wow he's making he's making more money than i am right now <laughs> so mm -hmm. we've been like kind of <laughs> driving him to just be an entrepreneur and a businessman mm -hmm. and teaching him about profit and um just just so much so he's that's that's been a real good focus for us is kind of okay. teaching him more because when we're so busy we don't get to show him those things we only get to be a parent like hey do this do that feed you right. spend some time but now that we can kind of key into his brain and show him some things that we mm -hmm. do as mm -hmm. parents um, on the business side, he's loving it, and he's doing really, really good. Got you, got you. What else can we get into from you? You know, everybody's in the house. We all know this. You know, you're still working. Uh, big racks. Can we expect any other singles dropping soon? I have so many. I just don't know if I just want to go ahead and drop the project with all the new singles on there, or do mm -hmm. I want to drop one more? So I'm really debating between that. I have R&B singles. I have hip-hop <laughs> singles. Uh, so it's just like, do I want to drop a solo without a feature? Because the past three songs, I've had features on there. And that was more or less just to collab with other artists, just to, to merge our brands. So, mm -hmm. like, my part of me was um, 718 Spank. Um, that went crazy. Like, it's it's at a million streams right now. Wow. Um, then I did a song with Sorry the Kid, Vibe. And that was a R&B song. Now then came back with a female rapper. So it's like, do I want to set another standard on doing something out of the box with another artist or do i go ahead and drop a single that's solo that i push i'm not sure it's really about how everything feels because every day when i make a song it's like a better song and i'm like oh forget that song i want to make a new song so mm -hmm. you know i, I kind of I, what i normally do would have like a listening session and have you know people that i can trust their ears mm -hmm. come around and listen but since we can't really do that it's kind of right. like like, what you going to do, Ree? So right. I'm definitely, it's a single going to be dropped again. I just don't know exactly which one. Okay. But then after that, I'm following up with a project. I just got to figure out how to shoot these visual, visuals. I just shot the visual for Big Racks mm -hmm. on Saturday. But it was, like, so strict. Like, the crew had to be minimal. Um, people had to be very strategic on how you're moving. I had gloves, thermometers, hand right. sanitizer, right. Uh, Lysol wipes. Like, I had everything, like, masks. So it's it's a little difficult because it takes a little bit longer because everybody got to move a certain way. It's just not like mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. running around. So the visual part, I think I shot, we shot, me and Yummy shot for like 17 hours on Saturday. We ain't get no sleep. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's hard. It's a little bit harder than a normal set. So to do the visuals that I want to do is going to be a little difficult. But um, like I said, we just got to be creative and figure out a way. But that's it. I'm going to drop a single and then we're going to start rolling out the the visuals and things for a project. Definitely, definitely. All right. Well, is there anything you want to leave our listeners? Any words of encouragement uh, during this pandemic? You know, let us know what you uh, think. Oh, man, I I would be a motivational speaker during this time because I've been through so much in my life. And having good people around you, having God in your life is so important even if it's just a phone call away from those good people since you can't physically be near them. Like, mm -hmm. stay in communication with your people, uplift them, check on people, for one. And 
find your find find yourself again because we get lost in social media we mm -hmm. get lost in the world period start right. back loving yourself and keying into your health your mental health all that stuff like that's really really important um but just be more loving because we're going through a situation that people are losing people right. and we can't this is something that we don't know how we didn't know how to prevent this right. so just love each other even more and work together um try to help out as much as possible and just be a helping hand like that's so important to me right now is just dang we we got to be more loving to one another um that's the biggest thing that i got out of this is hard working be mm -hmm. more hard working and love each other absolutely absolutely once again we have big racks you know that's the current single you're pushing right now yes it I is just, i just listened to it you know i listened to it last night then again this morning you know I, i'm digging it you know you like it yeah, congratulations yeah. on that. Yeah, I Thank got you. it in my playlist. So okay, that's what's up? Well, and, I appreciate you, know, you. Definitely, definitely. Anything else you want our listeners to know? No, nah, just stay tuned because there's some crazy stuff about to happen. Some good crazy though. Some really good crazy. And I really appreciate you supporting me. I know this has been over a year now that you've been rocking with me. So right, I appreciate you having me. This is my first little interview when it come down to big racks dropping so okay you know i had to give it to you first so thank you and i appreciate right. you and i appreciate everybody again just stay safe out there stay blessed up and we gonna get through this all together definitely definitely but we do appreciate you for checking in and taking the time to speak to hip-hop united always thank you i love you i'll talk to you later no problem no problem thank all you right. so much all no right problem. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.